Hello, and welcome to the Amazon Simple Email Service, or SES, Deliverability Learning Series. My name is Jesse Thompson, and I am an Email Deliverability Manager for Amazon Simple Email Services, or Amazon SES. I help customers understand and adhere to deliverability best practices, primarily focusing on getting email messages to recipient inboxes. Amazon SES is a cloud email service provider that can integrate into any application for bulk email sending. Senders from small startups to large enterprise accounts can use SES to reach their customers, but getting messages into the recipient's inbox over the long term can be tricky. Understanding deliverability best practices and what mailbox providers can expect from bulk senders is the key to getting messages to a customer's inbox. Today, we're going to be talking about email reputation. Email re remains a widely used and important communication channels for business today. Ensuring your emails reliably reach your recipient inboxes can be an ongoing challenge. At the heart of email deliverability is the concept of sender reputation. The way mailbox providers assess and categorize each sender based on user feedback and other indicators. A strong and positive sender reputation is critical for maintaining consistent email deliverability to the inbox. In this video, we'll explore the key aspects of email reputation and authentication, including how mailbox providers evaluate a sender's reputation, the message indicators used to assess senders, best practices for controlling and managing your sender reputation, the importance of gradual transitions when changing sending infrastructure, and methods of monitoring feedback about your sender reputation. Understanding these principles are essential for any organization that relies on email to connect with customers, partners, and other stakeholders. By the end of this video, you will have a solid foundation for protecting and enhancing your email deliverability through effective reputation management. Un 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 reputation is how mailbox providers assess each sender based on feedback from their users. When users mark messages as spam or report them, the mailbox provider takes notice. By the same token, if their users indicate that they want to receive the messages, the mailbox provider is more willing to put the messages into users' inboxes. If enough Un users find the sender's emails objectionable, the mailbox provider will start taking action. For example, the mailbox provider may initially start putting those messages into the re recipient's spam folders. Users can then correct the mailbox provider by marking those messages as not spam. Over time, the ratio of messages delivered to the inbox versus the spam folder depends on the overall feedback the mailbox provider gets from its users. When a sender's reputation indicates their users want fewer messages from them, the mailbox provider will start throttling or even blocking that sender's email. Un un mailbox un providers assess each sender based on observing various indicators within the messages they receive. The reputation of each of these indicators are evaluated by mailbox providers in isolation, as well as in combination with the other indicators to determine Un how messages should be handled. Un the best Un way to isolate your reputation is to authenticate each indicator so that the mailbox provider knows that you are responsible for the indicators that they use to assess reputation. These indicators Un include the IP address used to deliver the message, Email from domain used in the SMTP transaction between SES and the mailbox provider, which is authenticated with SPF. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. The domain used to digitally sign the message with DKIM, which stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail, and any other URLs present in the message headers or body, and the domain used in the from header, which is checked for alignment with the SPF or DKIM domain. Alignment means it's matching or a subdomain. This alignment logic is called, is called DMARC. DMARC stands Un for Domain-Based Message Authentication and Reporting. It is best Un practice to also align your URL domain to your DKIM domain if you, if you can. Un Un when you build a reputation of sending email that recipients want to receive, and that positive reputation will be associated with each of these authenticated indicators. 
Having a positive reputation means that mailbox providers are more likely to deliver messages with the same authenticated indicators to their users' inboxes. The next slide, I'll go into more detail about how to authenticate and isolate these indicators within Amazon Single Email Service. To ensure your reputation is properly associated with your messages, you need to authenticate each of the key indicators that mailbox providers use to assess sayers. This includes using dedicated IP addresses, implementing SPF for your mail from domain, signing messages with DKIM using verified domains, aligning your from header domain to your DKIM and SPF, and ensuring that other URLs in your messages are aligned with your DKIM domain if possible. While dedicated IPs can help, the priority should be on getting your domain-based authentication in order, as that is ultimately more important for building, for building a positive, consistent reputation. To use dedicated IP addresses with Amazon SES. When you create a new Amazon SES account, by default, your emails are sent from IP addresses that are shared with other SES account holders. You can also lease dedicated IP addresses that are reserved for your exclusive use. This gives you complete control over your IP reputation and enables you to isolate your IP reputation from different segments within your email programs. To implement SPF for your mail from domain. When an email is sent, it has two email addresses that indicate its source, a from address that's displayed to the message recipient and a mail from address that indicates where the message originated. The mail from address is sometimes called the envelope sender, envelope thumb, bounce address, or return path address. Mail servers use the mail from address to return bounce messages and other not notifications. To sign messages with DKIM. When you set up Easy DKIM for a domain identity, Amazon SES automatically adds a 2048 bit key to every email that you send from that identity. By using either DKIM, you will achieve DMARC compliance because your messages will be DKIM aligned. To align your from header with DKIM and SPF. DKIM stands for your domain, uh, DMARC stands for Domain Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance. It is an email authentication protocol that uses SPF and Domain Keys Identified Mail or DKIM to ensure that only authenticated senders can use your domain. In order to comply with DMARC, messages must be authenticated through either SPF or DKIM. But ideally, when both are used with DMARC, you'll be ensuring the highest level of protection possible for your email sending. By using a custom mail from with Amazon SES, you will achieve DMARC compliance because your messages will be SPF aligned. SPF alignment means that the mail from domain and the domain and some header are both in the same organizational domain namespace. DKIM alignment means that the DKIM domain and the domain and the from header are both in the same organizational domain namespace. To align your engagement tracking URL domains, when you use SES event publishing to capture open and click events, Amazon SES makes minor changes to the email you send. To capture open events, SES adds a one pixel by one pixel transparent image in each email sent through SES, which includes a unique file name for each email and is hosted on a server operating by SES. To capture link click events, SES replaces the links in your emails with links to a server operating by SES. You also have the option to use your own domains rather than domains owned and operated by SES. And this creates a more cohesive experience for your recipients, meaning all SES indicators are removed. When choosing a domain to use with engagement tracking, it is best practice to use a domain that is aligned with the DKIM domain so that there is a strong authentication signal of this indicator. We will post links on how to do each of these steps in the, in the description of this video. It's important to understand that with that new domains take time to build up a reputation with mailbox providers. Just having your email authentication set up properly doesn't guarantee your messages will always land in the inbox. However, having that authentication in place does help you maintain more consistent deliverability over time. 
when you need to transition to new identifiers like IP addresses or sending domains, it is crucial that you do so gradually. This gradual ramp up, which is often called IP warming or IP address changes, allows the mailbox providers to observe the new sending patterns and adjust your reputation accordingly without traffic volume spikes triggering any sudden deliverability issues such as reputation blocks or throttling. While you work on developing your reputation as an email sender, it is important to monitor the signals regarding your reputation. There is no one way to determine your reputation because it is something unique for each recipient at each mailbox provider. However, you can monitor a variety of signals to understand if your reputation is getting better or worse. SES provides metrics for bounces and complaints, and you can subscribe to the detailed events using SNS, Felicia's Firehose, or EventBridge. Delivery delay events will show you if your messages are being throttled in most situations. SES Virtual Deliverability Manager, abbreviated as VDM, provides a dashboard for monitoring metrics for each mailbox provider, domain, and your SES configuration set. VDM Message Insights allows you to look at an individual message to see why it was not successfully delivered. Gmail and Yahoo offer tools for senders to measure factors that affect reputation. Once you prove ownership of your DKIM domain to Google and Yahoo, you will be able to monitor using their tools. Gmail will also show campaign or tenant level camp complaint metrics, complaint rates, if you include additional campaign or tenant identifiers in your SES message tags. Your dedicated IP addresses and your domains may be listed by various third-party reputation assessment services, such as the Spam House Project. You should monitor for any listings of your dedicated IP addresses, domains, or URLs on, in these block list services. If you see any listings of your dedicated IPs or domains by any of these block list providers, then you may have a problem with your reputation with your recipients. In conclusion, mailbox providers assess each sender based on observing various indicators within the messages they receive. The, the reputation of each of these indicators are evaluated by mailbox providers. The best way to isolate your reputation is to authenticate each indicator so that the mailbox provider knows that you are responsible for the indicators that they use to assess reputation. Email authentication is absolutely critical for maintaining a positive sender reputation with mailbox providers. By, authentic by authenticating all the key message indicators that they use to assess senders, you can take control of how your messages and your organization are perceived. And when it comes to building and protecting that reputation over time, gradual transitions between identifiers and consistency in your sending patterns are essential. Follow these principles and you'll be well on your way to strong email deliverability. This is the end of the Amazon SES email deliverability learning series focused on email reputation. If you have any comments, please post them in the comments section below.